I just thought I'd share with you a little brief glimpse of my journey. It was about four years ago, must be close to, hey, um, my friend Alison, it's all Alison's fault, uh, decided it was time for me to find my family. I was adopted at nine days old. I was born in Auckland, New Zealand, and then adopted straight away to the mum that a lot of you know uh, at nine days old. And I never pursued or to find my birth family or point of origin. I knew I was born in New Zealand. I knew I was part Maori, but I didn't really know anything else. And the rejection that I carried as an adoptive person from being like given away was huge and overwhelmed me, especially as a teenager, when you're going through those angst of, you know, anxiety and identity issues, it really uh, caused me a lot of heartache. But you know, you push it all down and you push it aside and I really couldn't face the rejection of finding birth family to have them, you know, disown me or not want me again. So I never did. But Alison decided it was time. Because if you know Alison, she's quite insistent and she uh, was relentless in this idea. So we actually pursued this idea and through her absolute insistence and the fact that she really should have been a detective, um, we eventually found my birth mother and to find her, I had to find her to find my father's side of the family who are Maori from Northland, the Ngāpui tribe. So I found all this incredible history. I found beautiful people, um, a sister that I absolutely adore, my birth mother hasn't decided to tell her family that I exist. I'm still a secret. Hello. <laughs> so um, that's a whole other story, which you may or may not be interested in. If you are interested, actually, and you do um, have an inquiry about the adoption process, finding family or what it feels like, I've got a really cool blog post. I'll put a link on the blog post um, that you can read about how I found my birth family, the steps we took, how it unfolded. It was absolutely and entirely life-changing, like completely life-changing. Uh, I'm, I'm better for the knowledge. I feel more grounded as a person. I feel stronger in my sense of self and this sense of self-worth is what I'm really passionate about when it comes into my arts practice, in creating, running workshops, even in just the paintings and the themes that I create are very strongly geared towards you, your value and your sense of self-worth because I know how much it has impacted me. So I'll put a little link on that story and I'll show you now what the tamoku means for me. Seeing as I'm going to be shooting from top down so you can see my page, you're probably going to be wondering what is that weird thing on my arm because you're going to get lots of shots of my arm. And so I just thought I'd share with you a little brief glimpse of my journey. So when I found my birth family, it had a huge impact on my life. I'd been raised in Australia all my life and I never really felt like I fit in. I didn't feel like I belonged. And finding where I come from and the history of my family it's had a huge impact on my sense of self and my sense of belonging. So I did this tamoku which is Māori um, name for a tattoo. And it comes from the design by Tippi. These two pieces here represent two streams that make up who I am. So it's birth family, adopted family, or Pākehā and Māori, which is my mother and my father. They combine to make up who I am as a person. I'm a whakapapa or genealogy of a mixed race. This is the reconnection to Aotearoa, New Zealand. And this section here is the scales which represent the history of people and the tribes and the generations. This coming in here is the kuru, which represents new beginnings, new life. And this is what it was for me in finding where I belonged and finding my family and my history. Opened up this whole wealth of knowledge and treasure that I had, hadn't known. The power colour here is one of my absolute favourite colour schemes. It's always represented New Zealand to me. When I was a child, I would come and visit with my father. And for me, the power, I always collected the power shells, always represented New Zealand. You see it a lot in my artwork, comes through quite a bit. Um, last year, my daughter came to visit and she was really impacted 
by the significance of our culture and the history of our people. And she wanted to be really connected with me and um, this story. So we had this section done together. She has the same piece on the back of one of her arms and it represents strength and endurance. These are the these symbols here represent the shark's teeth, which is the strength, and the kofaifai here, which is the traditional patterns found on the uh, Maori meeting house and the prow bow of the canoe. <laughs> um, so for me, it's it symbolizes a great strength in who I am. Uh, it symbolizes belonging. It makes me feel grounded as a person to know who I am and where I come from and the history of my people. Uh, it's very meaningful to me and I absolutely love that I've come to this place in my life where I know who I am. It's out of this that I create a lot. I have quite a strong uh, theme of identity in my work. I feel that in knowing who you are and where you belong gives you a real sense of freedom because it's from that strength that you can be empowered to go on and do the things that you're meant to do in life. So yeah, that's what that's about. And welcome to my creative adventures.